Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So you have seen this combination before. These are three uh, Kipper decks and we are asking the question today, are they still thinking about the relationship? Are they still thinking about the relationship that we used to have? Okay, so you could be referring to a love relationship, a business relationship, etc. It doesn't really matter. So go ahead, make your selection. It's option one, two, or three. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. Okay. And for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what do they think of the relationship? What do they think of the relationship we once had? It could be a love relationship. It could be a business relationship. It could be a family alliance. It could be something that I, where you've had a relationship with each other, but you, you're not on speaking terms, perhaps, or you've just grown distant from one another. And that is the question that we're asking today. How do they feel about it? And how are they coping with it? Or how are they managing with this? Okay, so looking at these cards, I would say it's pretty clear that there was some kind of um, disagreement with you. There was some kind of, um, well, not necessarily, uh, well, you didn't agree on something, okay? Now, this matter could have come to the court, it could have come to some kind of head, but however, they still have the hope that something good would happen. They still have the hope that perhaps there will be um, a pleasant uh, letter that would be sent between you two or some pleasant communication. Any this person thinks of you as, or these people think of you as somebody who's really good, who's somebody who's really nice and, and well-rounded and and is a, quite a, a, a lovely person. They think of you as having... Uh, of, of being rich in values, in being in being a good person, in being um, a pleasant person, in being somebody that they can perhaps trust and somebody that they could potentially uh, be with again, whether it's in a work relationship or in a love relationship uh, or in some kind of way, they feel that they could actually uh, continue with you in some kind of way. At the, the most important thing here is that they have the hope that there's something good that can still come out of this even though there is some kind of disagreement or there there needs to be something that needs to be resolved they see that if you, they were to, con to continue communication with you or if you were to continue communication with them that there would be something that needed to be resolved that there needed to be something that would need to be fair in this situation between you and them and uh that would be required that would be uh a, a um a requirement yes a single requirement of what would be required of what would be needed for you to continue together and um there's also a sense here that they await a kind of pleasant communication from you perhaps a message perhaps a, a tweet perhaps something that you would write on their their facebook uh, or something like that but there's a sense here that there is something that they require they expect from you a some kind of communication they expect that and so they think about it they think about this communication that could be and they wonder how it could be or when it could be and they wonder uh, about that so that is my reading for you it's pretty clear pretty straightforward that's why I love working with Kipper cards they tell you exactly what needs to be and I would say that there's a great hope that this person has and they think of you as quite a well-rounded person they think that something needs to be fair between you two and they're hoping for some pleasant communication um, I think I don't see them initiating the communication I must be honest I don't see them actually doing that uh, I feel like uh, what stands between the hope and they, they, them actually taking action towards you or communicating with you in the future is this this thing that stands, it's this thing about there being an unfairness. There's this unfairness that is still there between you two and that needs to be resolved or something, some kind of disagreement or something where things went awry between you two and that needs to still be discussed. Um, I don't see them 
I see them seeing that there is a potential for pleasant communication after that has been resolved, but I don't see them taking action towards making such a communication with you. So I would say that if you were uh, interested in uh, communicating again with this person or these people, the, the way in which you would go about doing it would be to um, to actually just uh, address the issue at hand, uh, the disagreement that was, and then and try to resolve it or try to meet them halfway at least with regard to that. And then, and then you can continue with a uh, pleasant communication between you two. But I feel that anything before that uh, is going to be, it's not going to be taken well. Uh, so if you were thinking of, of um, coming together with this person again, then I would say address the problem at hand first before you try to come it back together with them with pleasant communication with with some kind words it's not gonna cut it you need to actually deal with the problem at hand that actually separated you or, or brought you apart in the first place that created the distance between you in the first place once again this reading goes not just for love but also for somebody who's perhaps uh, thinking about their previous employers perhaps an uh, old neighbor that you might have fallen out with or perhaps some family members that you aren't uh, communicating with at the moment and so this could uh, apply to a whole range of issues i hope that you found this reading helpful and that you can continue uh, with um, the advice that um, these cards offer you okay wishing you a blessed day ahead and many many blessings to you all for those of you who've chosen the second option we're asking the question how do they feel about us or what do they think about us how do they feel about us what do they think of the relationship that was between us and once again this could apply to love uh it could be a, a family relationship it could be of a neighbor it could be a, a work relationship this could apply to a whole range of issues it depends on it, what the requirement for this reading is that it, there was a relationship in the past and it no longer exists in the present So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking the question, what do they think about this relationship or how do they feel about the relationship that we used to have? And this once again could be a love relationship or any other kind of relationship, um, including business, family and, and any kind of relationship. So you, it seems like the person who's thinking about you and the relationship that they had with you remembers good times. They remember the good times that they had. They remember the wonderful things that they did with you. And they um, they remember the good things about the relationship. They remember your contribution to this relationship, which was pleasant and good. And they acknowledge you for that. Okay, But they still feel that they their feelings are more important in all of this. And that, uh, that they you know what 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 is important for them or how they think about this whole situation is what is the most important thing here and not necessarily the relationship and, and not necessarily you uh somehow that you had to kind of fit into their life in a way and uh they think that they are the most important person okay and so here the thing is that they while, while they remember the good times between you and them what they also are very well aware of is where things went or um where there was a dispute between you two where you were in a disagreement about something and where you felt as if where he felt as if or they felt rather they felt as if uh, things you know you reached ahead and you couldn't come to a um some kind of um, you know some kind of way forward there wasn't a way forward after this he, they felt that after you reached this point there was no way forward and unless it was something that was going to take something away from the other like quite a lot away from the other now this could be some a situation where on a very literal um um way it could be something where you had been in a relationship or one of you were in a relationship with this person and uh it could been a business partnership where you were had both uh, engaged in some fraud, stolen something, and one of you is literally in prison right now. One of you has to pay the price for what has happened, and you were wondering how that person feels about this whole situation. Well, that person enjoyed doing this 
activity with you they really enjoy that but they are not well anymore from having um they not feel they don't feel well anymore from having what done what they've done they feel really bad about it they 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 don't they regret it now in every other situation that that is a very literal um reading here but in every other situation if you were in some kind of relationship with this person they did enjoy the time that they had with you they did um they do recognize you for the goodness that you have brought to them and they recognize you but it's more like they recognize themselves and how much of fun they had it's they don't think so much about you as opposed to how they felt in the relationship they don't think that much about how you feel or about how uh, you saw the situation about how you fell out they think about how the, you you fell out more like in terms of what happened to them as a result so you know just very very um I wouldn't say self-absorbed, but some some kind of a narcissistic trait this person may have. Okay, uh, don't take me on that. It just it just looks like it could be like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have this. Um, they are like this, but um, there is a sense here that after this dispute, after this this falling away uh, or this this disagreement that you had with each other, what happened is that uh, there was no more room for any kind of happiness or goodness it was locked away it wasn't there wasn't he locked himself away or she, they locked themselves away i keep referring to a he because they use the they have the the main person here as a male uh, but this could be a female this could be uh, many people it could be any type of uh, situation so um this person or these people they locked themselves away afterward they would not allow anything to happen between you and them they wouldn't allow the continuation of this relationship it wasn't something that they would actually think of moving ahead or moving forward so there there was this kind of break between you two and i feel that when they think about uh the situation between you and them they feel like it's sickening they feel like okay we had some good times but could they go forward or could it happen again no they feel like it's sickening and they feel it makes them sick it makes them feel like oh, unwell it makes them feel like uncomfortable in themselves they might be feeling some guilt they might be feeling some feeling of having done something wrong or may having some regrets and they don't necessarily feel like it this is something that they sh they would come back to they i don't see them wanting to communicate i don't see them wanting to um to you know reach out to you in any way or form i don't see them want seeing that that is a possibility either they don't even think of that as a possibility so they don't hope for it they don't wish for it it's something that they think that okay well it's a good thing that it's ended it's a good thing that it's no longer but there were good times while it was there was a good time there were good times while it was but you know um they can't po possibly go on with something like this further they've locked themselves away if it is people that you were dealing with if it was an employer that you were dealing with they have certainly closed their doors towards you and they won't be opening that door again um even if you had been um you know um it's been an unfair uh, situation even if you were the victim in the situation or the person who suffered the most they are not willing to see that they are not willing to look at that and they won't give you another another chance or another word in to be honest uh, they but they having said that they do remember the good times that you did have with each other and the positive aspects that you shared with each other all right and um, i'm gonna leave it there i think that is uh, all that i have to say for this reading and i wish you a very good time ahead and for those of you who've chosen the third option we are asking the question what is it that they think about us uh what is it that they think about me um after this this relationship that we've had or what are their impressions of me after this relationship that we've had and once again it could be a love relationship it could be a business relationship it could be something with your neighbor or your family it doesn't actually matter it could be any kind of relationship those of you who've chosen the third option here uh, we're asking the question once again wh what do they think about the previous relationship that we had all right and yeah i feel this person is quite emotional 
I feel that they have quite a lot of hope you know, for things to come up again. They feel quite a lot of nostalgia. There's quite a sense, there's a sense here that they think about the place that you used to meet at or the home that you used to live in or the place that you used to work at together. Whatever your circumstances are, wherever the place at which you used to meet or used to find yourselves coming together, that is the place that they think about quite often. They understand, they feel themselves the victim in the situation. They feel themselves the person who's suffered the most, who's uh, had the most difficulties in this situation. And they feel that, it, it. they don't feel it was unfair to them necessarily, but they do feel the full depth of the, of the difficulty that was um, in the relationship. So whatever the dispute was, they feel that it was unfair towards them. Okay, whatever the disagreement was that finally led you apart from each other. If there was no disagreement uh, and you find you kind of just differed, drifted apart from each other, there's a sense here that he feels he, he was it was unfair to him. It was it was like he he could have been dealt a better set of cards is how he feels about the situation. There is this expectation. There is a sense here that he waits for something to happen between you two that he he kind of maybe sneaks around. I'm sorry, I'm speaking of he, but it could be they it could be she it could be any pronoun you'd like to use. Um, but this person, they think about you and they almost expect that something would happen between you two in the future. And to that end, they, they um, look for you. They kind of look for you online. They look out for you. And there's they might be sneaking around you a little bit. They may be like coming out around to where you used to be and looking for you and hoping that you will uh come to them um they feel fairly empty for for what has happened they feel quite empty they feel like their home is empty they feel like their their life is is empty and they feel quite a lot of turbulence in their emotional well-being so i would say that these people or this person uh, they're not going through a good time right now they're going through quite a difficult time right now and i apologize that my camera keeps refocusing um i don't know why it's doing that <clears throat> But uh, yeah, th th whatever, after you've left them, they've been going through quite a turbulent time. They've been having a, a, quite a lot of difficulty and they're finding a way to cope with it all regardless, but it is a difficult time for them. And there is a sense that there's a lot of reminiscence or nostalgia, a lot of memory around the fact that there is this, this place that you used to meet at, this place that you used to be at. Uh, if you were in a, uh, in a business relationship with these people and you... Um, and you you left them, you left them, or you took some kind of process against them before you left them, they might have suffered financially. They might have suffered, you know, and their business might be in a disarray. It might be that they could almost lose their business at this point. Um, if this is a love relationship, I feel here that... Um, that the relationship that you might have had with this person, uh, they would have been a quite emotional type of person. They would have been somebody who feels quite uh, sentimental about things and they are still suffering from this. They they are still having a hard time dealing with all of what they've had to endure in this relationship with you. I feel that they feel quite sad uh, often and they, they also have quite a turbulent life on their own, in their own, okay? So the problems are not with you necessarily. It's like you stepped into th this situation with them, but they already had problems. They already had difficulties in their lives and they are still coping with those difficulties. They are still struggling with them. For some of them, it might be that they are depressed. They have depression. They have a difficulty uh, coping on a day-to-day -day basis, but they definitely feel sadness and uh, a lot of sadness actually about the about you about when they think of you they feel a lot of sadness but they don't feel a regret you know this is not something they don't feel that they are responsible for anything that's taken place here they don't feel that they've driven you away in any way they don't feel that that they have um, done something that has um, contributed to the breakup here or the, the the fact that there is distance between you what I do think here however is that they feel that they've been the one that's been done wrong and that they've been the the victim in the situation and that uh, this situation has been done to them they feel very much that this situation has been done to them and this is actually um 
somewhat of a problem in terms of any kind of reconciliation, any kind of uh, communication in the in the future, because I feel that they uh, aren't able to move away from this with the way they feel um, in this regard. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that has been helpful uh, for you, and I wish you all very well and many, many blessings to you. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.